534, a single mom's in shock this morning after she and her brother nearly die in a hit and run crash. And now she wants to make sure the driver that hit them is facing charges. Matt McCutcheon joins us now with some of the violent aftermath of this crash. It's just amazing when you see all this damage to see that she's okay. Yeah, she posted these pictures online. It's getting a lot of social media traction here still this morning, giving you an idea of the intensity of this crash. Take a look. This is what remains of that vehicle. You can just see toys, personal possessions in this car scattered everywhere as a result of this crash, which happened at the intersection of East Thompson Road and Manker Street on the city's south side. Driving this past Saturday, Brittany Head said it came out of nowhere. In fact, she doesn't even remember the crash, but she does remember trying to shake her brother awake afterwards. Both of them suffered concussions. Brittany's brother had a brain bleed, and despite all of this, they say it could have been worse. If she had not left her kids with someone else, they would have also been in that car when it crashed. Um, if they wouldn't have been impatient, they would have been in that back seat, and I wouldn't be sitting on this couch right now talking to you. I don't understand how me and my brother are still here. Um, we were definitely protected by somebody, a higher power, you know, what have you, but I'm very surprised. We're very lucky. As you heard, Brittany is doing okay. She's awake. She's brave enough to share her story with us. Her and her brother are expected to make a full recovery from this. But she says she, uh, that it's, it's no thanks to the driver who hit them because basically he did not stop to check on them when this crash happens. Well, and any leads, Matt, on finding that driver? Here's why it's tricky. They, police know who he is. Mm -hmm. He's turned himself in, but he's still out there. He's still a free man. He's not under arrest right now. There's kind of some legal ease we're looking at. We're going to break it down and come up here okay. in our next hour of Sunrise including how police caught up with him. But just such a horrific way yeah. to really begin 2018. Yeah. They're hoping to end the year on a positive note. I'm glad she's doing better. Matt, thank you very thank much. You. We appreciate it.